Hey guys, Michael Keo, Team Keo at Remax, and welcome back to the Very Real Estate Update. So uh, we're going to make this nice and short and sweet this week because at the end of this week, what we're going to do is we will look back uh, March compared to February of this year, and then we're going to look at March compared to uh, March of 2019. So let's get right into it. Uh, let's do condos first. 11 new condo listings this week compared to 10 last week. One of those properties was relisted. Uh, we had one conditional sale compared to two last week, and the one conditional sale that we had in condos was listed and sold within the same week. Uh, firm sales, we had five firm sales this week compared to nine the week before. Uh, one of those properties sold over list. Now, it was a uh, two-story townhouse with a basement and a garage and a yard uh, on Ferris Lane, listed at $298,000, sold at $325,000, which is right where that property should sell to begin with. Because, again, you're not going to find any condos here with three bedrooms and yards under $300,000. So, uh, and presently we're sitting at 61 listings compared to 68 listings last week. So let's look into uh, residentials uh, in the city of Barrie. Uh, presently we're sitting, uh, so last week we had 54 new listings uh, compared to 70 the week before. Six of those are relisted properties. Um, we had three conditional sales this week compared to eight the week before. And two of those three properties were listed and sold uh, within the same week. Um, slightly off on our firm sales, we had 31 firm sales this week compared to 41 the week before. Um, one of those were at list price and eight were over list price. So we had two big winners. One of them was a three level back split on the south end with a garage uh, listed at $450,000 and sold at $470,000, right where it should be. And then the other one was a 1,400 square foot uh, townhouse um, listed at $450,000, sold for $480,000. So $30,000 over list, but the property should have originally been listed maybe in the 465 to 470 range. So the interesting thing is we had uh, nine properties at list or over list price this week compared to 17 from the week before. So we're seeing these numbers right across the board. Listings, conditional sales, and firm sales are all going down. Uh, currently, we have 231 listings compared to 241 listings last week. So let's take a three-week window here. We're going to look, you know, um, three weeks ago, two weeks ago, and then last week. So three weeks ago, we had 54 firm sales. Last week, we had, or sorry, two weeks ago, we had 41 firm sales. And then last week, we had 31. So we can see what the trend is. Uh, conditional sales, three weeks ago, we had 12. Two weeks ago, we had eight. And then the last week we only had three. So the only thing that seems to be staying up there is the number of listings. So three weeks ago we had 71 listings. Last two weeks ago we had 70 listings and 54 uh, new listings uh, just this past week. So, um, you know, sales are going down. Um, the uh, conditional sales are going down. Firm sales are going down. And the listings are staying up there. They're, they're, they're coming down, but not nearly as fast as uh, the ratio between the sales and the listings. So um, we're going to go take a look, as I said, uh, month over month and year over year. So that'll give us a better understanding as far as what it is that's, that's happening. So um, interesting news. The government just said that we're not allowed to have meetings of, you know, uh, more than five people. So um, how's that going to affect us? Generally, we don't have that many people that come into homes anyway. Um, so hopefully that helps you guys. There's a bit more information out there for you. And again, if you need anything at all, if you need prescriptions picked up, if you need groceries, um, any errands or anything like that, please feel free to reach out. Uh, we're more than happy to help and stay safe out there. Enjoy your day.